next one is for the one course in the competition. I probably can't pronounce its name. So I've done Kawanek Estate by Catalos1991, who is a well-known designer in TGC. For those people who don't know who I am, I am Catcherman22. I am the scheduler for the CC Pro and CC Am tours on TGC Tours. Uh, I've been doing that now for two years, which leads me a little bit of credibility to judge in this contest, considering that the courses are being created for mainly for use on the CC Tour. A uh, couple things to keep in mind before we go forward. Uh, I am not a designer. So the feedback you are going to get from me is it's in terms of the course's playability and the shot values. You should get feedback from other people um, on the design aspect of this. Um, but my main feedback is going to be on its playability and shot values. Uh, this is not a scoring round per se. This is the first time I've seen the course. I've not looked at the work in progress thread. If there was one, I've not looked at the course thread other than to get some information about the course. Um, and I've not played it yet. So this will be the first playthrough. Uh, it will not be the only playthrough before I give it a score. I'm not actually going to give it a score after this playthrough. I'm going to play it again um, under different conditions and different pin sets. Uh, like I do for most courses when I schedule for CC. Uh, Alright, so in terms of what I'm judging when I score these, uh, like I said, I'm, the main thing for me as the scheduler is this playability and the shot values. Do you reward good shots? Do you punish bad shots? Um, do you give me an opportunity to play different shots and holes? Or are you telling me how to play the shot? The design of your greens and how their surroundings uh, lead to interesting putting and or short game shots? And the placement and appearance of hazards. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at things from the technical execution side of the player's eye. So, like, do things make sense? So, like, do the textures look good? Do the elevations look good? And are things done cleanly and well, right, so to speak? So they're not sloppy. Uh, I'm looking at the aesthetics and the environment. Is it is it nice to look at? Um, do you have anything that seems repetitive? Uh, and is your vision clear from playing the course? Like, what are you aim to get? Is it what you got? And I'm looking at the rerouting, the flow, the cohesion, and the variety of holes. We'll talk about that, more of that when we get to the first screen. Um, and then more importantly, most importantly, is would I recommend it to somebody else to play? Would I schedule for the CC tour, and do I want to play it again? Okay, so that's the main scoring criteria that I'm going to be using. All right, with that note, I'm going to get this loaded. Um, Keep in mind here, I am a PGA player, uh, and I'm going to play this fairly quickly as long as my controller behaves. Uh, and so, what I shoot here has no bearing on how I think it's if I think it's difficult or not for pro or am or anything like that. I'm going to kind of speed play my way through here. All right, uh, first impressions was the opening tee shot. The opening tee shot looked good. Um, uh, ginormous green here, right? A gigantic green with a lot of areas to it. Uh, this is something I'm going to watch when I'm playing this because, um, right, uh, huge greens is not necessarily a good thing depending on, uh, how, you know, your pin sets and stuff. So it's something I'll keep an eye on. I'm not saying it's a bad thing either, by the way. It's just when I'm looking at it from a scheduler's eye, especially for CC, right? And I don't want 100 foot, 120 foot putts for people who hit bad shots. <clears throat> All right, what was the green default? 163. Okay, so just for future reference, for scheduling purposes. Uh, Schedulers like to see the greens as either 150 something or 170 something because then we can use a 160, a 170, and a 180 if we want to, or 150, a 160, a 170 kind of deal, or one sorry 140, 150, 160. <clears throat> it's not going to hurt you in this. I'm just saying for future reference in case people didn't know that. All right, time to look at the routing and the variety of holes and stuff like that. Um, so first impressions on the distance, uh, 7,500 yards is a long way for a CC course. Uh, I personally usually don't schedule something more than 7,200 yards. Uh, and you didn't give me any other tees. 
Okay. So, it, I mean, it's going to have to see how this plays, but I have to keep in mind Pro Cup players when I'm scheduling. 7,500 yards is a little stretched for a Pro Club course. Again, depending on how it plays. Okay, so I'm going to hold off on that comment specifically until I've played it. But just at first glance, it's a long course. Uh, I'm looking at the, the variety and distances on the 3s, the 4s, and the 5s. So when I look at the 3s, I see 178, 202, 185, and 167. I would like, personally, like to see a shorter par 3, but it doesn't mean that you didn't have one playing that way. I just distance wise I'd like to see a hole under 150 yards. That's just personal preference. <clears throat> Not points off or anything like that. It's just a personal preference of mine. I like to see for some variety. Um, like like on the par fours, right? There's no par four under 300, 400 yards on the front nine. In fact there's no par four under 400 yards anywhere on the course. That is a negative for me. Um, it means they're all going to play fairly long unless you've got some elevation going on. So that's something I'm also going to keep in mind. Um, but right off the bat, I don't like the fact that... Oh, there, I lied. There's one par four. It's number five. It's sitting right in front of my nose, and I completely missed it. How did I miss that one hole? That's what she said. Um, how did I miss that hole being under 400 yards? Okay, well, never mind. I'll track what I just said. <laughs> Uh, fives, 543, 578, 583, and 581. Gonna be interested to see how the 543 plays, or any of the longer ones, to see if they play a little bit shorter. Um, but the 578, 583, 581 are probably out of the range of pro clubs, which means we may not have any reachable par fives, which is also not a good thing either. But again, it depends on how it plays. Alright, so. But all that being said, um, 7,500 yards is a long stretch. Another gigantic green. Um, this is going to play completely different depending on where the pin is, which is cool. <clears throat> Not a giant fan of this little hump right here. But you do allow me to feed the ball in a bunch of different ways, so that's okay. So I'm going to try and bank it off this back slope back here, see what happens. Of course, I missed the slope altogether. <clears throat> All right. If I had thrown that a little farther left, it would have been better. your fairways for the long par fours so far with the undulation uh, of the greens and the narrowness of the fairways I don't think this is an AM course ideally I like to find courses that I can schedule on both tours but it doesn't mean that this can't do well in the contest it's just as a scheduler I like just look for courses that I can use in both I do like that you've got some variety in your pins here, and the holes play different on depending on the green, where you put it, a pin on the green, which I like. So I do like the fact now, right at the moment, that you've got such large greens, uh, because it makes the holes play different, depending on where the pin is, which is not something you can always say about giant greens. Right, but you're you've got them large left to right as well as front to back, so you've got like you know the pin being 20 yards to the left makes this whole play completely different because it brings that water into play. All right, so 542. If I hit it on this rough, it's going to kick it down into this bunker. Is this fairway going to do the same thing? No, not too bad. Okay. All right. I actually probably wouldn't kick it down into the bunker to be completely honest with you. 
Alright, another one where you've got this giant hump in the way of the flag. But you give me ways to get to the flag, so it's okay. I'm in a weird yardage here. I uh, tried to fast it and I got it very fast. Oh, good. It didn't put me on the green. And I would have ended up with that f large putt there. Boom. Oh, oh, almost. Alright. <laughs> So that wouldn't have been reachable, probably for pro clubs, depending on the win. Well, you're just all over the fairways on this course. Look at this. Right, this is the short hole. And I've got tons of options, right? I can lay up over here. I can put it here. I can go for that fairway down there. So you like that. I like the options here. And again, it's another hole where, depending on where that pin is, probably depends on where I play this shot. So I like that. I do. I do like that quite a bit. So I think for that pin, I'm going to try and put it here in the middle. Probably could hit driver and gone all the way up. Where are you going, ball? Oh, yeah. And see, so you punish people for being on the wrong side of the fairway. Because this hole definitely would have been a lot easier from this side of the fairway here. That's too much. Not too bad. So, i giant fan of that hole. That's a uh, good... Good strategy hole. You have to change the way you play it depending on where the pin is. So I do like that quite a bit. Alright. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, I get saved by the sloping of the fairway there. Now see, this is what I was talking about, what I was worried about on the others. Would you have enlarged greens, right? Because, I mean, that, it, it kind of plays differently if I go into the back left corner back there, but not horribly differently. It just adds length, it's length of the shot is different. And then if I put the pin 20 yards back, it doesn't change anything, so. See, now you've got very four distinct pins here, probably. Right, you've got the one to the right, you've got the one in the very front of the green, you've probably got one in the left. Would be my guess. It's going to play com four completely different shots, probably. Ugh. And when you fast it, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I missed it.
All right, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, like I said, I, I like the, the options that are presented to me on some of the holes. I do like the way the routing changes. Uh, this hole is not my favorite. Not my favorite par four in the, in the course. Uh, see this one I think you could have done with a slightly smaller green probably. Probably could have done with a slightly smaller green. Um, that's going to play a long way uh, when that pins back. See, this is one of those courses, and this is why I play multiple pin sets usually when I play a course, is because this course on different pins could play a lot differently. Alright, again, advantage master clubs here. If I can get it there, I'll bounce off of that. Oh, I did. Not probably reachable for pro clubs. I might be with the right wind. I like the castle in the background, that's nice. Right, front nine thirty-four. And nicely framed par four here. Getting not a giant fan of the narrowing of the fairway there because you're kind of forced me to lay up with a two wood if I don't feel confident in a driver. Um, that could play a lot differently in a wind, especially a crosswind. Oh, air melt. Ugh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Eighty-five down fifteen. A little slopey on the screen, probably. A little bit, not horrible. Uh oh. Oh, it stopped. Whew. All right, 583. And probably not reachable for the pros. Oh, and this, I'm gonna have to take this over the tree, am I? Can I get this over that tree? Yes, I can. All right. Mm. 
This is a nice looking tee shot, but that fairway, is that fairway going to kick me down here? In which case, can I even make that? I mean, I could probably make that fairway t today. Eh. I might have issues with this fairway, let's see. Oh, that's alright. Never mind. Looks worse than it is. giant false front here and again see another great use of a big green because you, this hole could play completely different depending on where you put the slack and in that case it might make sen more sense to go to that left fairway I could even set up the conditions to make it downwind on this hole oh I got that false front um, to make it downwind on this hole so that you can make that left side pretty easy. Loving the choices. Choices on holes where you need them. Uh oh. Sit down. Alright, stops. Alright, this is a long hole here. Middle of the green pin. fast so one thing I'll caution you about and this may or may not be true it's just my perception is it feels like all of the pins are in the middle on this pin set that's not a hundred percent true because the last hole obviously wasn't in the middle but I had made note of that before I just said it that it was feeling like all the pins are in the middle of the green That was another one that was in the middle. A nice looking, another nice looking tee shot, but again, a really narrow fairway for a 450 yard hole. For Masters Clubs. And a bit on the long side for Pro Clubs. See another middle green pin. Another middle of the green pin. <clears throat> yeah, so that's length right now. From a 7,500 yard tee, and the way the greens are, I can't use this on AM. Can you give me options here, or is that the only spare way? Yeah, okay. Another hole where it looks like the ferry is just going to kick me all the way out to the left here. I'm going to set it right now if I can use this on Pro. I need to play it again. Uh, and the only reason I say that is because of the length. This is a nice shot right here. What do you got going on over here? A little waterfall. Okay. Another middle pin. Pretty nasty slide slope here. I don't care for this too much. Uh, 
I don't particularly care for that slope too much. All right, two holes to go. All right, so this is the short part three, and again, well, it's not green over there. Never mind. I was gonna say that would have been real cool to have a pin all the way back there, but then you would have to wrap that green all the way back there, and that would make more sense. But again, another middle pin. Another middle pin. Can't make a thing. Yeah, so, I mean, if I were to leave comments, uh, I guess it, um, Reduce the green size in places where you don't need a big giant green. And this will be a short part four here. Probably. Or part five, I mean. Reduce the green sizes in places where you don't need a giant green. Um, vary the pins up a little bit so they're not all in the middle of the green for pin one. Yeah, see another one. See, this is another great use of a big green. Because you can put this pin back there in a place completely different than if I put the pin right here. It's not going to be reachable. I'm also not a fan of the big slope here. So yeah, so reduce the green sizes in places. Um, some of the greens, that, like I said, it makes sense. Some of the greens it doesn't. And vary the pins up a little bit. Um, so that they're not all in the center on pin one. So I'll bring some of those corners into play across the four rounds rather than just round four, which you may or may not have done. I don't know. Um, but yeah. And then shorten some of the holes a little bit for CC, which you may do with a T-set. So, I mean, you may come out with a T-set when you release one of the versions that you're gonna have, where you've shortened the T-sets a little bit and that may work just as well. Um, but like at 7,500 yards, that's kind of pushing it the way it plays for pro unless I firm everything out, which I don't really want to do. Um, I don't think. I'm, I'm going to go play it under very fast, very firm, very firm, and see what it does. Um, but just judging by the sloping of the green, I don't know that a very fast will work. Um, and I don't know very firm will work with some of the fairway sloping. So I, I'll have to go out and see and play it. But So for me, that's the things that I would, I would change. Like I said one more time, just the green size in places, uh, the pin locations in places, and then some of the sloping around the fairways. But other than that, I thought it was a solid course. It looked great. Uh, I loved the, the the choices that you gave me on some of the holes. Uh, I thought the variety, for the most part, was okay. I would, like I said, I wish you would probably had a shorter par 5 that might be a little bit more reachable, and I would might, might wish you would shorten a little of some of the par 4s. Uh, but that would help you get down below 7,500 yards, right? So, I mean, you can kind of kill two birds with one stone in places. Because other than hole five, I think it was, right? And then there was one other par four where I hit it to it. 13, maybe? I can't remember. All right, you didn't give me a really a lot of options. It was hit driver the whole time, right? But the holes where you gave me choices, you gave me a lot of choices, and I liked them a lot. So overall, not bad. Um, if you have any questions or want to discuss this further, you can always find me on the forums or any of the major TGC design streams that are around. I'm also part of the Facebook group, uh, Facebook group that we're all a part of. Um, but yeah, if you, like I said, if you have any questions or you want to discuss this further, uh, hit me up with a message on on the message board. And otherwise, I wish you the best of luck in the contest.